Okay guys, so now comes the not so fun part of getting the beer out of a glass carboy and into a bottling bucket. So I got a bottling bucket right down here below. It's been sanitized, it's been emptied. Uh, we're ready to run with it. I'm gonna take the lid off. And we need to go ahead and get our siphon out. So we need to dump the water out of it. Sanitized solution here. So here we have our two pieces of our siphon and we want to go ahead and assemble that. And uh, actually what we'll do is we'll put the, the main end of it in first. And this does have a stopper on here that uh, keeps it off of the bottom. So, okay, so that is in, it's a touching bottom. Now what we want to do is get the right hose, which is our smaller one here, smaller diameter. Get all the sanitizing solution out of it. And we're going to drop one end into the bottling bucket. And the other end will attach to the siphon here. We want to make sure we have a good seal. Okay, we're good there. And now what we're going to do is pump the siphon to start it up. And this will draw the beer out. So here I'll show you guys how we do it. So you pump down once. And that usually is enough. And there we go. So the beer is flowing out now. And there you see the, the levels dropping. So I'm gonna go grab the camera and just show you guys what this looks like up close. All right, so you see the, the beer is flowing here out of the hose, out of the carboy down here, and into the bottling bucket. You see the swirling there, so it's coming out. And you see our level dropping here. Uh, so all is well. So we just kinda gotta wait it out. You can pump the siphon again and it'll pick up uh, the speed most likely. I'm going to do that again just to try to expedite this. So I'm going to pump again here guys to get this going a little bit faster. And there it looks like we've gotten most of the air out of the hose. So now it's a nice solid line and uh, beer's coming out really quickly now so that's much better. So that's something you just got to play with um, as you use siphons or uh, you know anytime you're transferring beer. Sometimes you just kind of have to play with the hose, how how you hold it. Uh, you remember, it's got to have gravity, and you got to have a drop in gravity from point A to point B in order to move the liquid, unless you're using a pump. Uh, that's why you see a lot of people with brewing sculptures that are built up on ladders and structures like that. It's because it's all gravity driven. So. It's going pretty well now. I'll zoom in again here and show you guys the improved flow. You see we're really cranking now. And you see that hose now is just a solid line. There's no air in there anymore. So it is just coming down and swirling nicely. That's what we want to see. We don't want a bunch of bubbles at this point. We just want a nice smooth transfer. And what we're going to do to clean this carboy, we got to just put this in the bathtub fill it up with really hot water and just let it soak. And we're gonna have to hit it with the brush. You see there's a pretty good yeast sediment down here too that uh, we'll probably, what I like to do is fill the carboy with a little bit of water, swirl it, and then dump it down the toilet to get rid of that yeast. Obviously perfectly biodegradable and safe. Uh, not gonna hurt your plumbing or the environment. And, uh, and then I like to soak it in the tub for a while. So we'll let this go and uh, when it's done, we will uh, get set up with our bottling bucket and start filling up some bottles.